Well, some people might think it's BS that that Marvel has taken away their series completely uh, and movies away from um, away from Netflix, and it, and then the CW is doing the same, correct? Yeah. Well, yep. okay. So well, C- what's happening? CW Tell me. is taking all their properties off Netflix, and they're doing it like show by show. So if you want to buy, they shop it. Sh- they're shopping the show, show by show. You got Black Lightning, you got Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow's going away, so that'll live somewhere. The Flash, all these kind of things, goes to the highest bidder, right? The CW shows push okay numbers. It's not great. Them losing Flash probably does good, right? Flash did well. I don't right. think it does as well it's as it used to. Probably the most popular superhero totally. show. Totally. No? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Black Lightning Legends of Tomorrow are really well received. I don't think they're as popular. Uh, I, the most popular show on the CW is hands down Riverdale. Question. I mean, that is, why wouldn't CW is why wouldn't CW because Flash is CW? Right? Yep. Why wouldn't they, they all go, go to, to the DC Warner. streaming service? Uh, I don't think they can afford them. But isn't it par- part of the same family? No, no. So the DC stream, it's what it's is part on of the, the comics, DC streaming service? That's that's uh, Doom fiction. Patrol, okay. Okay. Um, the other, the new Titans, the, the Titans, right, right. Uh, so those CW owning there is it's a little bit of a like Sony owning correct Spider Man. Like, so it's like Warner Brothers doing this thing, but it's it's a it's a weird like money situation okay. producers of the show. Uh, they they won't put them on DC All Access because they, they can get more money taking them other places. What was what okay. they'll do? Makes sense. So them taking those off Netflix, yeah, it hurts a little bit. Obviously, the Marvel ones hurt way more. Way more. And Marvel's taking off their movies, movies their are gone. everything, everything. And I got to tell you, last night my sister in law texted me and she goes, "What sh- what shows should we be watching on Netflix?" I started looking through and I'm like, <laughs> "There's not a ton on here that I'm like, man, I effing love this show." Because Stranger all of Things. Sh- Stranger Things. Glo- but they watch those. Yeah. Stranger Things, Glow, the, the shows right. that we already know. Right. Netflix hasn't... Sex Education might have been... The Sex n- Education is my favorite. It's brilliant. Yes. But that might be their best new show, but it's... It's not getting a huge audience. Right, that, but, a lot most, of these but most shows. of the good shows on Netflix don't. I feel like other than Stranger Things, don't right, get right. it. Like but Russian not, Doll, like Russian all of those doll. types of shows, they don't get. No, because well, Netflix many, Netflix Umbrella started Academy. their business. I mean, Netflix took Blockbuster out because their first thing was just the DVDs. D- the DVDs, and then they realized after a while because of the smart thing that they did is that you have to move into. I mean, then first they did streaming, and then they have to move into making their own shit because the. For this very reason, because once people start taking off their stuff and they 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 don't want to license to you anymore, your platform is what it's got to be originals. That's why they have so much original right. shit and how many original movies they have in original. But they need stuff like Makuga saying they need more stuff that hits mm-hmm. because they think there was some kind of poll that said like how many people would cancel their subscription if uh, Marvel movies left. And I think it was something like twenty two percent or something That's crazy. A huge number. It's a huge number. Yeah. Um, now how many of those people actually do it is, is one thing. Let's say it's fifteen. Still a big number. Mm-hmm. Now, if you think about it, Marvel or Disney's going to and Disney Plus going to have all the Marvel movies, mm-hmm. it'll have all the Star Wars movies, and have all the live action movies from you know the ones that you hate. It'll have all the it'll have all the <laughs> it'll have all, you don't like the live action remakes from the from the classic animated, right? For what? For like the old like the Aladdins and and those things. I don't and, hate all of them. Okay, no. but you're not a big fan of them. I'm there. I just I would rather watch original okay, stuff. But, but yeah. all that original stuff will yeah. be on yeah. Disney Plus, so they're gonna. It will be. Yeah, yeah. So what about d- the Disney Channel movies? <laughs> I don't know that. I don't know. I don't know if they're going to move <laughs> yeah. stuff over. What, what's Cody? Cody the loves. Disney Channel original movies are going to be on. There. They are oh, going to be on Disney Plus. So, <laughs> yeah. So they have. They just the, the material that they have is just it's just here, crazy. Here's the other thing that that they're going to be able to do. So now Disney has full control of Hulu, right? Right. And they own Fox. Finally, finally, you're going to get a lot of those FX shows. That so those that are they, my that's what my favorite. I know. I love which FX. One, which one? Which show? The FXX or the FX shows. A lot of those. The best shows on TV only, are on FX. Only live on either Hulu or on the FX app. Right now, all of those are going to be on Disney Plus. I right. would are imagine. They? I would. I uh, or I mean, they're going to either stay or on Hulu. Hulu or go to Disney Plus. Or Probably you're gonna, say Hulu. Or you're. I guarantee you, you're going to get a, a Hulu Disney Plus bundle. Oh, they, bundle. I think they already said that yeah. too. That's going to package into uh, ESPN. Also, that, that would make me get it because I love everything FX makes. Yeah. Have you been watching Fosse Verdon? No. <sighs> My wife. You told me loves about it. I just. I'm watching what we do in the shadows. Obviously. Yeah, that's great. We, yeah. It's so you're it's, the worst. Like all those shows. So good. So that. So do we think that Netflix is in serious shit here or what? Here's the thing is Netflix really needs to because I'll be honest with you if I'm looking at it right now it goes HBO show if we're, if we're looking at premium content right it goes HBO Showtime are, right. are up there simply because yeah. you have Game of Thrones Barry Veep all the shows that are coming out on HBO Showtime then you have you have like your Netflix Amazon but as soon as Disney Plus comes up that's going to it's going to hurdle Netflix and Amazon doesn't release enough quality pro like they have Mrs. Maisel, 
They have, you know, a couple of like random shows coming on. They have Bosch, which I watch, but I know a lot of but people don't like Bosch. Popular, right? It's not super popular. The Amazon Originals, they they do stop kicking me more. Kidding, it's, he's got my wire. Stop. No. Um, That's what she said. He's got. <laughs> You've got all of the uh, Amazon's got like a decent originals, but it's not it's not life changing. Netflix gets some stuff from the BBC. But again, Netflix has not outside of the Marvel properties. Netflix doesn't have much. They've got a ton of documentaries, which I love. Right. They've got a bunch of decent shows, but nothing out but there being successful? like, oh, shit, this is incredible. But how successful are their movies, like uh, Excuse me. those like romantic comedies that came out, like To All the Boys I Love Before? Right. Like, weren't those watched by millions and millions of people, All too? the Boys I Love Before was a right. outlier. A lot of the other ones were not. Triple Frontier, right. an outlier. A lot of the other ones were not. And again, Netflix doesn't give us numbers, so this is all hearsay. But we don't right. know. Right. So I, I, I think they're in trouble. I do, too. You think they're in trouble? No, you know, you know what I, I want to do? I think they're filthy rich. But for how long? Not like Disney, because, obviously. Well, because but they're able to they are like so Disney. debted to the hilt of right. that finance. Well, so right here, now. here's here's really? what I'd like to do, Cody. Can I we, don't know. Can we open up open up the phone lines? I want to get. Said, I think I don't know. I want to get people. Don't don't call in if you're just going to talk about Game of Thrones or anything else too, or just some. Because <laughs> we got Matt Sarah at eleven thirty. Yeah, don't don't. Like, I it's just want you minutes. to call in if you want to talk about Netflix and and both sides. Do you think that they're in trouble? And if you do, tell me why. And if you don't, tell me why. So have that. Don't just call in because you want to be on the air. Call in and tell me like exactly why you think that Netflix. You sound like such a dad right now. But it's true. I mean, some, I I love I, I love when people call in and yeah. go, hey, I just want to let you guys know that like I just been watching for a yeah, long yeah. time. What do you got? Uh, nothing. Right. Yeah. Like uh, and the, 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 the nice the nice calls. But this is for a particular conversation. So right. if you want to call in to talk about Netflix. Um, please do. If not, please hang up and let somebody else in that does. So Netflix, can they survive? Will they survive? How can they survive? Or are they fucked? Go ahead and uh, call in. Uh, Cody, you got the number up there. Not right now, Darren. I didn't ask if there was a caller. <laughs> I didn't ask if there was a caller. I just said, do you have everything ready to go? Uh, okay. Okay. Um, so as soon as you get somebody, our friends from Boston will let us know. Mm -hmm. And then once that happens, we will ask those people whether they think that Netflix is in trouble. Hey, what was the last Netflix series you watched outside of a Marvel property or something like that? You're like, damn, that was good. Stranger Things. Sex okay. Education. Okay. Because Sinner, is... Sinner doesn't count because it was a USA show. Okay. But it's on Netflix. But Stranger Things, that is once a year. I know. So what else is in between there? I know. That's the, that's the, I mean, they, they're, they're falling now into a place like an ABC or something yeah. where they need the shows to continue. Because they have these reality shows. That, like So ABC will rely on The Bachelor or The Bachelorette <laughs> to keep them through. That show's going to be on until the day I we know. die. Totally. I know. It's going to fucking outlive me. I'm be so pissed. Because of generations. Yeah. Because there's just so many generations that watch it. Even if you don't. Because that's that's how you. It's like a five, it's like a five to six year generation gap. And then it moves on. And then it moves That's on. how you sustain. Show. Because the thing. Okay. Well, don't worry about you anymore. All right. Let's yeah. let's talk to. We have somebody. We have yeah. some, right, I got you, Cody. You are on Collider Live. Who do we got? Uh, my name's Jonathan. Hello, Hi, Jonathan. 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 All right, so we're here talking about Netflix. Uh, do you think that Disney Plus is going to really kick them in the nuts, or you think that they're going to be able to sustain and, and carry on? Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Me and my dad were just talking about this. We've been sitting here watching the show, and um, really, we think Disney is going to just kind of, well, I think Disney is just kind of blow them right out the water, honestly. Yeah. It's a situation, man. Can you hey turn down your computer a little bit or whatever you're watching on? We can hear you in the background. Um, I, I I totally agree with the dude. Yeah, I, because you, if you think about it, they're, what they're and they're coming out and they're sw they're swinging a bat with with spikes on it. Yeah. Because they've got they have these Marvel shows. They got Mandalorian, which is the first yeah. one out of the gate, and because they've announced all of these shows. At one, like you were just saying, like at what point are they gonna like, like for Netflix? Like what do they have once a year? Where you assume that at any time with Disney Plus, you can you can tune into a Star Wars show or a Marvel show or watch some of their old movies. It it it's it just seems like there's going to be a lot to to really tune into. Well, do we know anything also about the net, how much uh, they make through like Netflix originals overseas? Like anything that's outside of this country? They don't really give a lot of numbers. They don't give us yeah. any numbers. I mean, I know Netflix is pretty much everywhere. Yeah. I'm guessing Disney Plus will pretty much yeah. be everywhere. Too. Well, what do you what, what do you if do Disney we still, buys Netflix? Cody, do we still have our call? And then we're all yeah. all right. So what what do you? It's okay. okay. So what do you what do you think Netflix would have to do in order to uh, you know to and what was the last great Netflix show besides like a Stranger Things like something that you know you are like man Netflix I gotta recommend this to people because everybody watches Stranger Things I'm not like taking that away. Right. Um, 
I'm not entirely sure. Stranger Things was widely popular, and so I think that would be one of the bigger things. Um, maybe if they were to bring a few extra uh, new Netflix TV shows or some along those lines with the movies with some good actors. and may- I'm not entirely sure on how they could bring it up, but if they worked hard enough, I'm sure they could. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank, thank- you. This time of point- well, thank you're you. You're going to get blown out the water. Uh, yeah, yeah. Thank I, you for the phone call, uh, Cody. Let me know when we get another one. A, thank you, Jonathan. What about that um, uh, show called You? Remember the? Oh yeah, but that was show? also, but that was also so a show was, that was USA. It, it was USA. It used to be Lifetime. Or, I think. Lifetime. Yeah, yeah. yeah right, so right. What, but then it, it, it was a successful, new season's right? coming out. Yeah, yeah. On Netflix, they said Netflix okay. bought it. It got it got a revival of the tension. And then, and it did. I mean, it did good on Netflix. I mean, I, it, it pushed a social conversation because basically, what you have to look at it as far as Netflix is, where is it pushing right. on the social medias? Right? Mm-hmm. Is there a hashtag? Who's who's talking about it? How many people are talking about it? It was kind of you know when House of Cards dropped, it was it was everybody's conversation. Then that petered right. out. When Orange is the New Black launched, it was right, everybody's right, talking right, about right. that. It petered out. And that's out. the thing is that they're dealing with they're dealing with hot shows. Right for and and hoping that it catches the magic for, to where Disney's coming out swinging with these two huge IPs mm-hmm. on a movie that's crushing in box office, at least following the lore of that those movies in Endgame, mm-hmm. right? And Star Wars, which you're getting our, your first kind of adult series mm-hmm. in the Star Wars universe in the Mandalorian. And so, and you think that there's never going to be exhaustion after and after all of these franchises are out there like uh, so much like like My, people aren't going to get sick ever going to get sick of Star the, Wars or Marvel or anything like that. The answer is it just and this is I never I never succumb to the idea of of exhaustion of good material mm-hmm. because the, and that's the reason MCU has survived for so long because there are there are definitely movies inside of there that yes. that either don't work or, or but they've been successful right. right. And the reason why they've been successful is because they've been entertaining enough to the fans that if they've been invested, mm-hmm. once you lose the fans' investment with bad storytelling, like they did, or or or, or don't really or don't have good excitement behind it, like a solo, mm-hmm. right? Then people will automatically, oh, people are getting tired of Star Wars. No, they're getting tired of stories that they either don't give a shit about, right. or you don't have the right team, or you don't have the right actors mm-hmm. portraying it. So and not, that's not an easy task. So it's not the franchise or the entity. It's 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 how it's, it's made. It's execution. Yeah, exactly. It's execution and everything. So if Mandalorian comes out and it's some of the best television that we've had on TV, it doesn't yeah. matter if Star Wars or whatever, it's good television, right. people are going to get on board. Shit, look at Game of Thrones, right? Game of Thrones, people, started it, slow. it started slow and it caught fire because it just started doing all these things. And there's, the reason why people are so invested and pissed off and loving it is because they've been so invested. They're not fatigued of it. They're either pissed because of the writing or they are loving it because this execution of all these great characters that have been set up from the beginning. Nobody knew what Game of Thrones was except the book readers. Mm-hmm. And now everybody knows what it is because it's just a lot of the shows, minus what you think about this season, the execution was good and the characters were good and the, and the actors were great. But that's fascinating to me as to like what actually becomes a cultural phenomenon, right? Like, mm. what are what are the factors that? Yeah, that... like why was Breaking Bad? Exactly. Why yeah. was Sopranos? Exactly. But well, good those, but those good shows, writing. but Correct. those shows to me are on another level yeah. as to like how those were almost perfect shows to me. Yeah. Right, right. Right. Like Game of Thrones. Like I think it's it's cinematic historical television in the sense that it's like the way it looks is groundbreaking. But there's issues with the story. I I don't think it was as good as the the first few seasons. Whereas like you can't say that about Breaking Bad. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, it's, depend- it's all subject- subjective. Also, totally. I want to see if we have one more call. Yeah. All right. And then and then Matt Sarah's going to be calling in. So let's uh, let's take a phone call here. Hey, you're on Collider Live. Who do we got? Hey, this is Jim from Sacramento. Jim from Sacramento. Jim, Jim, so we're here talking about Netflix and uh, the fact that they might lose these Marvel movies. Do you think that Netflix is in trouble or they can uh, they can rally back from this thing? I, I think it's kind of a, a, a split, really. Um, yeah, they're going to be losing the Marvel shows, but remember they, they acquired Miller World, uh, the comic book imprint over at Image oh, Comics from Mark Miller. Right. Mm-hmm. And uh, they just announced today, I believe, James Wan that J- that James Wan, yeah, is going to direct the pilot episode from the Magic Order. Mm. Oh, so, shit. yeah, it's and I forget who the showrunner is going to be, but I, I think that that it's definitely going to dig into their bottom line. But Netflix has had command of the streaming market for how long now? Right. I mean, I th- I think this is I think that it's it's. There's enough to, to go around. I think Netflix will feel a pinch, but but they have, what, $8 billion that they're going to be spending on content. 
I think they're going to be okay in the end. I mean, fantastic phone call. Maybe, Thank you, Jim. Thanks, and maybe Jim. they're just the option that, you know, if you don't want to see franchise stuff, that's your option. Go to yeah. Netflix and watch more original stuff. Well, right? But he's right, though. He's right in the fact that they have, like, that. But but what he was just talking about, though, they've got to put into motion. Because you're going to get people like us and the people, like, what do you got? Like, right. what's coming out? They have to use that money. they got to use the properties that they bought. And they got to use this talent like James Wan. And you got to make those announcements to say, yeah, you're going to go watch The Mandalorian. Too, but we got this. And mm -hmm. we got this. And you got you, it's it's now, and this is what's great for us as viewers. Is this very similar? I'm going to throw in a wrestling reference. So, like when WCW and WWF were at their prime, it's when they were both competing for ratings, and that's when it was the best right. that it was. And so now, if if we have WCW as the uh, as, as Netflix, right. and then and then WWF as Disney, Disney, and you have them battling one another, that's great for us yeah, because now it's going to be because Netflix can't be lazy with making yeah. some of this shit. They got they got to make good movies that are going to say, well, you got to because the other thing that they did bad that we're not talking about, they upped their subscription price, so they got to drop it. Right. They well, got to drop it. What's what's the difference? It's like five dollars. Disney's six ninety nine, and right. and Netflix. Netflix is now like sixteen ninety nine or something, right. some crazy. Well, I think they're moving it up, though, yeah, aren't they? I think so. All right, but, but Cardi.